Hello everyone, so glad you've returned. If you're watching this and you're already a subscriber, thank you so much, my loves. And if you're new to this and you just happen to like Hank Williams Jr., I have some other doc series that I've done on Jerry Lee Lewis. I have four uploads. And then I also have some uh, video uploads of his ranch and other things. And I have some others that I'm working on. And also, if you like Hank Williams Jr., go ahead and check out my other video on Hank Williams Sr., his father. And it's very hard to find something on Hank Williams Jr. because he's still alive right now. But I know that as I was researching this, that they're coming out with a movie or maybe they already had this was 11 months ago. So I'm just going to try to go with anything I can find on him on the internet. And we're just going to go from there. So we're just going to go with this first part. It'd probably be just the basic, you know, life of, of, his, of the starting of his life to up to now. And then we'll go from there. And I'll try to do another upload tonight. Because I know I have been lacking the last three to four days because my voice was gone. Um, on the scandals of Hank Williams Jr. I did find something on that. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get started out. And I just want to say thank you so much. For everyone that is returned and um it really means a lot to me and we're just gonna go ahead and go from here I don't want to ramble on Hank Williams Jr.'s biography 1949 updated June the 15th of 2020 original April 1st 2014 the son namesake of country music pioneer Hank Williams Hank Williams Jr. style combined country with southern rock and blues. Who is Hank Williams Jr.? Hank Williams Jr. was performing his father Hank Sr. song on stage at the age of eight. In the 1970s, he created his own musical identity combining country with southern rock. The blues, William was severely injured in, the mount in a mountain climbing accident, 1975. He spent two years recovering from his injuries. By the 1980s, Williams had become one of the country music's top performers. He had several multi-platinum albums during his career. In 2012, he released Old School, New Rules, Early Life. Williams was born Random Hank Williams on May 26, 1949 in Shreveport, Louisiana. Woo! Hey, I'm just putting my hands up because I just found something new out from Hank Williams Jr. I just knew I was always a country girl and I always liked his songs. But baby, now I really like them because guess what? As y'all know, if y'all been following me, I did the Jerry Lee Lewis and everybody pretty much seems to like that one. The last one I did on him, Jerry Lee Lewis, the elder years. If you want to know something about that, you can go back and look at my Jerry Lee Lewis series. Um... I'm not very far from Shreveport, but he is born in May, just like I, I am. And my birthday is May the 13th. They he was born two hours from where I'm at right now. So, yay. I'm just, I'm just so excited. I found something out new about Hank Williams Jr. So, let's go along. <laughs> the son and his namesake of country music pioneer Hank Williams. Williams was just three when his father died, his mother Audrey soon led him into becoming a country performer, like his father. Other kids could play cowboys and Indians and imagine they grow up to be cowboys. He wrote on his website, I couldn't do that. I knew I grew up to be a singer. That's all there ever was. The only opinion from the beginning. Williams made his stage debut at the age of eight in his first appearance on the Nashville famed Grand Ole Opera. At age 11, at age 15, Williams had his first top five hits on the country charts with the cover of his father's song, Long Gone Lonesome Blues. He performed throughout his teens to sold out crowds and on national television carrying on his father's legacy legacy through music. Before long, however, Williams got caught up in the wild lifestyle on the road, drinking and taking pills. Country music star. This we're getting in the, the part where it's this part of the country music star, that's when he's becoming really big. 
Daring a particularly low time in his life, Williams attempted suicide in 1974. He managed to turn his life around and worked on creating his own musical identity that combined country music with southern rock and blues. The resulting sound debuted in 1975 album Hank Williams Jr. and Friends. That year, Williams was severely injured in a mountain climbing accident in Montana, and it would take two years and several major surgeries to reconstruct his face. The accident resulted in Williams' new trademark look, which included a full beard, cowboy hat, and dark glasses. Now, isn't that something? I know, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm learning just like y'all are. I, so I'm just, it took me a long time to find all this and try to go through it. But I always wondered why his pictures from his childhood look so different from his, you know, elder years. You know, but I, I never realized, I was born in 1982, so he, you know, he had just, he was, I remember him and my uncles and my aunts and everybody else, great uncles, pop grandpas, and everybody else listening to Hank Williams Jr. So we're just going to go on from there, but I never knew that. And that that's just awesome that he recovered from that. That's a miracle. In, in the 1980s, Williams contemplated, contemplated, to stardom with several multi-platinum albums and dozens of chart-topping singles, including Family Tradition. Oh, y'all, I, I love that song. I said that on the last Hank Williams. That's how I first remember Hank Williams Jr. Because it was, it, it, <laughs> if, if, you know, Family Tradition. He's breaking the Family Tradition. So I told y'all that on the last part. I said, we're going to go into him. So I already knew that he was going to have probably some little scandals <laughs> along the way. Texas Women and Born to Boogie. He won the Country Music Association's award in the inter as Entertainer of the Year in 1987 and 1988 and the Grammy Award in 1989 for a duet with his father's recorded vocals called There's a Tear in My Beer. Oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> I just got I Listen, I'm from Louisiana. Y'all know, y'all know. If y'all like to come here... Y'all like this southern accent? I don't. I'm not. I don't have to fake it. It just goes along with it. Uh, <laughs> I think everybody's a papa and great uncle around here. You know, I, there's a tear in my beer because I've been crying over you. That's all I remember it saying. <laughs> in 1989, Williams began his long association with ABC's Monday Night Football. Y'all, I just okay. Y'all didn't come here just to have somebody bland talk to you, so I'm just going to be natural. So, But I remember this. I never re realized, but I, now looking back, you know, when you're younger, teenage, you don't really put everything together on one. But he would be that, that one that say, oh, my righty friends are coming over tonight. I remember that. I remember that. I, and it would be on every football, he'd come up there and it'd be like, oh, my righty friends are coming over tonight. I know I don't sound like Hank Williams Jr., but I remember what he sung and how it went. His songs, all my righty friends are coming over tonight. I didn't even read this next part, but I remember that. For the program and the new theme song earned Williams four Emmy Awards. In 2011, Monday Night Football and Williams cut ties with each other after some remarks he made about President Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Williams appeared on Fox News. I'm sorry, y'all. If y'all love President, I'm not here for politics by no means. We're doing a documentary. But I just had to say, you know, anybody that's raised country and from Louisiana, you know, we, you know, it doesn't matter which political eye you're on. You just tell it like it is. You know, you just speak with you. Sometimes you speak without thinking what, what's, how's it going to affect others because that's just the way we're raised down here in the South. You just speak, speak what you think. You know, we don't wear our feelings on our shoulders. News, Fox and Friends, and compared Obama to Adolf Hitler. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that part. Okay. Uh, okay. No. <laughs> Obama to Adolf, Adolf Hitler, which is no means. I don't do not think Obama's compared at all to Hitler, Adolf Hitler. So, oops. Sorry. <laughs> In his comment, that's not my words. No, that, that's Hank Williams Jr., Allegedly, okay. <laughs> now I'm going by the documentary. 
in, in his comments on the show, in the wake of this incident, he revised his song. Keep the change, keep the change to address the issue. Williams added some new lyrics, including, so Fox and Friends, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, babies. I, I, you know, I'm just myself. <laughs> y'all, y'all, if y'all want to laugh, y'all can. Or y'all, y'all just like, man, this girl's too much. Click off. <laughs> Whatever. I'm sorry. So Fox and Friends, he, he included this in his song. His new lyrics included, So Fox and Friends want to put me down. Ask for my opinion, then twist it around. So this is how I can see it going. So Fox and Friends want to put me down. Ask my opinion, then twist it around. Wow, wow. No, no, I'm picking. The following year, Williams released his next al- album, Old School New Rules, on the, his independent label called okay but i'm gonna pronounce this this sounds for some reason i don't know where this is but it reminds me of like a french or cajun word like the cajun part of the reason bofus records i've never heard of that b-o-c-e-p-h-u-s okay bofus records that's how it looks that's how it seems like it's pronounced if you know of any other way it's pronounced comment down below but don't hate me i'm just quoting it as i see it after his childhood nickname, he impressed his political he he impressed his political frustrations with the track "Taking Back the Country." The album also featured a duet with Brad Paisley. I'm gonna get drunk and play Hank Williams in an appearance of Merle Haggard on a cover of a song. I think I'll just stay here and drink. William has toured extensively in support of the latest release, Personal Life. William was married to Gwen Yergain until 1977. The couple had one son together, Shelton Hank Williams, who performs as Hank Williams III. With his second wife, Becky White Williams, he has two daughters, Holly and Hillary. Both the daughters are involved in music business as well as in 1990. Williams married for the third time. <laughs> Woo! He, he just, he's, uh, oh, Hank. Hank Williams Jr., he's busy, baby. He just one, two, three. He, he, he and Mary Jane Thomas have two children, Catherine and Samuel. Oh, another one. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm interrupting a lot in here, but me and, me and Hank seem to be having some kind of something going on here. Because my son's name is Samuel. So is it a Louisiana thing, a southern thing, or, or what, okay? Together, the pair separated in 2007, but later reconciled. Catherine was tragically killed in a car accident in June of 2020. So this was just a short form. That's so sad. His, okay, his daughter, his daughter was killed. I, I know I'll just stop here because it was like we was on a real high and happy then it went boom I mean couldn't they couldn't they have put that kind of in the middle and had it going off with the bang but that that's just that that's just so I don't even know how to end this I mean I'm not I laugh when I get a little nervous so I don't know what to say but I really don't know how to end this but that is so sad so Catherine was tragically killed in a car crash in June of 2020 so um that means it doesn't have her age on here, but it says in 1990, Williams married his third wife. He and Mary Jane Thomas have two children, Catherine, Catherine and Samuel, together. They pair separated in 2007. So, I mean, I don't know how old she was or when they had her, but she couldn't have been that old. And that, that's just so sad. My heart goes out to the, them. I'm so sorry for that. And I, I, I really don't know what else to say, so I'm just going to skip on over. And, I, you know, I didn't know it was going to end like this. It was from 2014 to right now, to 2020. So we're going to go ahead and go from here. And we're going to go through Hank Williams' biggest scandals, which I did find one thing on that. And it goes through every country star's biggest scandal. So I finally found something on him. Oh, Hank Williams Jr. is on Facebook, and he does have his own website. I didn't get on there and look because I didn't want to steal none of his stuff. I might message him and ask him, does he have any scandals I could put in my video and tell him I'm a new YouTuber and I'm from Louisiana. I, I might get lucky. You never know, you know. I mean, it don't hurt. I know a lot, not a lot of uh, other 
new YouTubers, young YouTubers that did the same thing. So I might just I might just try to message him and ask, can he help me out? Is there anything I could put? I'm covering his story that he would like me to put in there, or that somebody you know just a, a little thing that would make somebody you know get a, a little scandal or something make somebody laugh or something. I don't want to tell him I'm doing scandals, but anyways, I'm renting. Sorry. But I didn't know how to end this. So we're just going to skip out from this and just say that we're going into the next part of Hank Williams Jr. Scandals. And I'm so glad that y'all are returning to my channel. I am new. I'm doing all this, y'all, from my headphones, from a cell phone, okay? So I will be set up probably in about a month or two. I will have me a professional editing computer and uh, just a, trying to get me a little office going where I can set up in there and then I can do you know do this more pro professionally but for now this is just you know how how I'm start starting so from the bottom up so this is the way it is but thank y'all so much babies and I appreciate y'all and I'm sorry I rambled on I just found out a lot in here that I didn't know about Hank Williams Jr. It's funny. He was born in May. I was born in May. His son, his name was Samuel. My son's name was Samuel. And it was just a lot of things. And I was really getting into it. And it's just like, at the end, his daughter tragically killed in the car crash. It was so sad. I really didn't know what to say. So, I, I'm just sorry for that. Uh, Hank Williams Jr., if you happen to listen to this one day. But I, I doubt you will. Because I have small subscribers. But if you do... Or any of your kids, if y'all are scrolling through YouTube, I just want to let y'all know that I'm sorry for Catherine's, uh, for the tragedy with Catherine. And, um, Hank Williams Jr., I, I love your songs. And, uh, I never met you in real life, but I, I love your songs. I always have. And my favorite one is Family Tradition. I hate to say that. Okay. Okay, but anyways, y'all, it's Keisha Koo signing out here, and thank you so much if you're listening to this. If you stuck this long, then, then, then you have to subscribe if you haven't, because you, you just have to just go up there and hit the subscribe button. I am going to be getting a better, you know, where it's going to have an entry when I do this, a small entry to tell you to subscribe, share, and like. So just hit the subscribe button and hit a like button anything helps okay i'm telling you anything because i this this is the bottom up like I'm, I'm doing this from the bottom up with no help uh and also uh i just want to tell y'all everybody have a blessed night or day wherever y'all are at wherever y'all listen to this at i know i have some people from the uk but i think they come here to my channel mostly for the uh for the the royal scoops and stuff the little royal skits i do and but i do want to let y'all know that that if y'all are going through a tragedy my prayers are with y'all tonight even though i do not know know y'all know a lot of us are going through stuff and, and let's just you know i know y'all come here to be happy but talking about that tragedy let's just keep the uh 13th